Hey, this is David Bauer. Let's take a look at using multi-track stems inside GarageBand. I've gone ahead and downloaded the multi-track stems for the song You Are Life by Hillsong Worship from praisecharts.com and those uh, stems are in the folder here on my desktop. Now, I've also taken the same folder and dropped it in a portable drive folder. Um, all of my sessions that I build, my, my uh, sessions in for whatever uh, software I'm in, I keep all the uh, original stems together on that same drive. And in particular, it's important to keep this folder inside any working folder. So because I'm working on demos, I've got these stems inside the folder uh, for different platforms. So they're always going to be accessible inside that folder. So here are all the stems. Now before we go any further, let's go ahead and create uh, the GarageBand session. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and open GarageBand. I already have it open here and I know that the tempo is going to be 115 BPM based on the stems here. So I can set that before I even create the session, make the tempo 115. I know it's going to be in C major because that's the original key already. If it was in a different key, you could easily just change that here. Okay, so this is your blank canvas for GarageBand. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and save this as the title we want it to be. So this is You Are Life. So we're gonna nail it here. You Are Life. All right, now we're gonna grab the stems and all you have to do is highlight all of these and drag and drop them on bar one. And what GarageBand is doing is populating each stem on its own um, track or lane. Um, so here are all the stems. You can see them. You can zoom out here up in the top right. And there is the whole entire song. So if we hit play. Intro, two, three, four. So you can hear the entire song playing back. The cool thing is, um, you can see each stem and everything's organized here on the left based on the track name or the, the name of the stem. So maybe uh, you want to rename these. It's really easy to do. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to double click on this first title. It says it's acoustic guitar and I may want to condense this down and say AC GTR. If I hit tab, it'll go to the next track. So I know this is bass. This is going to be click cues, I call this kit, uh, EG1, EG2, some effects, pad, percussion, piano, and there's a synth stem. Okay, now it looks a little bit more um, not so compressed on the title names. Now, if you want to reorder your tracks. You basically just click and drag this up to the position you want it to be in. Most of us like to have maybe the click on the very top lane and then your vocal cues on the next lane. And then pretty much that's it. You can hit play at this point. Verse. Let's say we'll just get rid of the click and the cues for right now. Let's say maybe you don't need kit and bass but you just need uh, electric guitars. So let's skip ahead just a little bit. Take all the synth out. Let's say you just need um, electric guitars with your click tracks. Turn. So that is the easy, easy way to use multi-track stems inside GarageBand. Now, do keep in mind, with GarageBand, you are limited to only one stereo pair of outputs. So even though you have multi-tracks available, you are only able to use the left and the right main output of your computer that you're playing GarageBand on. So if we're going to use this in a true click scenario, you're going to have to uh, pan all of these hard left and hard right to do uh, multi-track playback. So that way you can isolate the click and the cues on one send and then the track mix is on the other side. First. So it sounds something like this. But you can still, you know, 
uh, mix out what you don't need, so to speak. So there you go. That's the easiest way to use multi-tracks inside GarageBand. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at david at davidbowercreative.com and please visit my friends at praisecharts.com for all charts, chord charts, orchestrations, and of course, multi-tracks 